and we are back at the Walter Pyramid on the campus of Long Beach State University, where I just learned that Sergio Mora went to orientation at one point. <laughs> one orientation class here, yes. Well done. Well, you got your money's worth at that one. Chris Maddox, Sergio Mora, Ock from the great Ock and Barack show, DAZN Boxing Show. Fellas, uh, we had a compelling main event with some wild scorecards. 97-93, one scorecard for Jojo Diaz. Two other judges awarded it wide for Mercito Gesta. Gesta gets the win. He keeps his career going. Sergio, let me ask you this. Did the judges get it right? No, the right. they got the right winner. They just didn't get it right with the scorecards. I do not agree with the wide 97-93 and 99-91. That, that's impossible. Jojo Diaz was in this fight. I had it either a draw or Jojo even by one. But I can't hate on Hesta winning this fight, too. It's just competitive. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with Sergio here. I mean, you can't get upset at the winner. I personally had JoJo winning that fight. It depends on what you look for, right? I thought JoJo was landing the bigger, harder shots downstairs and upstairs. A lot of times we overlook those body shots. Those are scoring shots. And I think JoJo pressed the entire fight. Yes, Hester was busy. Yes, he was pity patting, but it wasn't enough to keep JoJo off of him. So I gave a lot of rounds that you might have gave to Hester to JoJo. Uh, there was a lot of what I've seen of JoJo at 135 pounds, which is, yes, he can land some consequential shots, but he doesn't let his hands go nearly enough. And Hester didn't throw anything that hurt JoJo, but he was throwing a lot, especially in those early rounds, banking, I think, a lot of those early rounds. I think Hester really showed out in this one. A lot of people dismissed him because they look back at what happened in 2019 when he got knocked out and he had a technical draw. But this is a guy that just a year ago had an upset win over Joel Diaz Jr. Now Sergio he comes in here and gets another upset win over jo jo Jojo Diaz. Hey, the momentum's on his side. He, that, that Diaz fight was really good. Now he has another Diaz under his belt. And it, like I said, it's a former champion. You know, so that you have that you have that 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 notch on your belt. Jojo Diaz, I don't know where he goes from here, but I know Mercito Gesta. If he fights on the undercard of Ryan Garcia against another popular opponent, I mean that that, that that's all we want from a from a from a Filipino fighter that was supposed to be like the next coming of Manny Pacquiao. That's not going to be the case, but no, he can still no. close out his career at 35 years old. Yeah, 35 years old. I don't think he's the next coming of anything <laughs> at this point. <laughs> hey, but I do think Aki, payday. Aki does have options now in front of him. I think Oscar Duarte, who won the undercard tonight, that's a pretty good option for him. Golden Boy's pretty loaded right now at the lightweight division. William Zapata is out there. He certainly put himself in position for another big fight. Yeah, I like the Duartes. And it also makes you think about what would have happened had Ryan Garcia faced them earlier this year. Obviously, they were slated to fight. I mean, it would have been a tough fight. Maybe it was smart for, 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 for Brian to lay back, get ready for Tank, because this guy's a tough cookie. I'm talking about he took some big shots downstairs, upstairs, kept coming. I like it. Definitely not next Manny Pacquiao, but there are a lot of fights in that division for him. Sergio, let's talk about Jojo Diaz, because you mentioned I don't know where he goes from here. He's 30 years old. He's still a pretty significant name in these lower weight classes, but he's just lost three in a row. He's winless in four of his last five fights. He's in a difficult spot right now. He's 31 years old, but uh, according to his body and the wars that he had, he might be closer to 41 years old. I'm telling you, there's a lot of miles in that tank of Jojo Diaz. Where does he go? He has to beat somebody young and an up-and-comer, and I don't know if he has that in, in him right now. He wants the big names. He wants the big money. He just let an opportunity slip. Yeah, I mean, he tried. He tried hard, and sometimes it's how you lose. I thought this fight was very close. I think Jojo was entertaining enough for us to still want to see him in there again. But, yes, he needs a win, and he needs to win big to, for his name to be in the mix again. Yeah, Jojo Diaz has a long way to go. I would love to see him move back down to the 130-pound division. It's been a few years since he's been there, but he had success against Tevin Farmer. And if you look at his career, he has had the most success at 126 when he gave Gary Russell Jr. a pretty good fight. And then he goes up to 130, and he beats Tevin Farmer to win a world title. I would love to see Jojo Diaz Work hard, get back down and wait and see if he can rebuild his career at that weight class. We'll be back here stateside on April 8th. Bam Rodriguez looking for a world title at 112 pounds. Ak and Barak will be on the road. A lot of mileage for those two over the next few weeks. Check them out on the DAZN Boxing Show. For Ak, Sergio Mora, I'm Chris Mannix. We'll see you next time on DAZN. And there shall be light. <laughs>